In high school, I had a friend whose parents were Swiss, and I would stay with them on weekends and Thanksgiving, and wine was part of every day. Lunch and dinner, bringing that sense of ritual to a meal. And I just, as a romantic, just fell in love with the idea. We have so few rituals today, and one of the last that we have is wine. The wine is a ritual part of a meal. Breaking bread, being together, is at the heart of the matter. The people who are friends and who mean a lot to you, that company is, is, uh, is part of what you're experiencing in that wine and in the food you have. When you're smelling wine and you're just trying to, to engage everybody together at that same moment when you're having a toast, that it begins the meal. I love that, that there's an opening and a closing. It's about experiencing it together at the table with food. I mean, you look at this, this house right here, you see all the space out there where the foosball table is and all that. People come over, everyone stands exactly where you're standing. This house could just be the size of this kitchen, you know, because that's what you do, right? You're cooking, you're drinking, and I'm so much more comfortable in a in this setting or in a, in a bistro kind of restaurant where, you know, um, it's, it's, it's more relaxed, it's more laid back, the menus are simple, you know, good honest food. I first went to Chez Panisse when they opened. Through the years, it's simply been one of our very favorite restaurants. There's a perfect example of the freshness of ingredients with Alice. What she has done for farm to table, that is individual producers that she has sought out, found, and uses consistently for the quality, just incredible. Wine is the same thing. Really at the heart of the finest wines are the finest grapes. My first experience working formally in a restaurant was Chez Panisse. So I met Paul a couple of times there. He and Alice were, were, were very tight, and Ridge was inevitably there as sort of an iconic, uh, leading California wine estate. She had our Geyservilles on the list from earliest days. Paul made that uh, Geyserville Simbendale. And that was, that was a revelation to me. And I almost can taste it now. Wine shouldn't just be something consumed on its own, there's an enhancement in it of the pleasure of all your senses when you have it with food. When I joined Ridge in 69, I proposed that we go every year and celebrate the fact that we'd survived another year. Uh, because in those days, we weren't breaking even yet. It was that close. It was just a marvelous time, and Chez Panisse was the... We didn't have to talk business at all. We could just sit there and enjoy each other. Well, in those early days, we had a lot of dinners for Ridge. I didn't know anything about wine, really. So it was really my wine education. How to experience it in all of its dimension and to really allow the essence of the food to reveal itself. Those were very important meals. There's nothing more important right now than cooking a meal for friends. Taking the time to set the table. Taking the time to choose a wine. Of eating for, for pleasure. The ritual of the table is so precious and it's terribly important that we think about that. If you ask people about their most memorable, positive 
events, almost all of them can be drawn back to this context of breaking bread, having good food, good wine, wonderful conversation at table. I hope we never lose that in this increasingly chaotic world in which we live in to remember what's important and remember what's important is often lubricated at table with great wine and great food. Thank you.